So, Derek, stop me if you've heard this one before, but uh, you're the underdog against oh, really? the younger uh, opponent. You know, everybody's uh -huh. counting you out against the up, up and coming star. Um, what, what, do you, what do you feel like when you, when you find yourself in this situation? I mean, do you ever feel like, why are people just not giving me the respect I deserve? Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I'm always in like a weird spot. Um, I don't know, man. I've done a lot in my career, and I've had a lot of great wins, and I've been here for a long time, and I've seen guys who are really good not make it this long or whatever, you know. So it is what it is. I, I, I always accredit that to, like, that's my own foolishness. I went into some fights and been a little too aggressive, and I could have had better moments in those fights, and I didn't. And, you know, it always put me in this weird spot. But I've always stayed relevant, you know, So and I'm still here relevant in these big fights. Does it, I mean, do you kind of enter with a chip on your shoulder ever? Do you, like, do you almost enjoy it, like relish it? Like, I'm going to prove to these people, you know, that, that don't give me the respect I deserve or that doubt me. I'm well you know I'm always looking for like self approval so like uh, you can never make people happy or the fans happy like the fans in this sport they're a little, they're a little different from other sports um one minute you go out there and knock somebody out. They're like, oh, man, this is the greatest thing. And then, you know, let's say the next fight you go out there and it's not so exciting. And they're like, oh, you suck. You know, so it's like, whoa, man, this is like super bipolar, super weird. So I don't, I just more, I'm just more focused on myself and like bettering myself and making sure that I'm at the top of my game and getting better each fight. Yeah. And, I, and I think. Most people would say you are right now, right? I mean, despite how long you've been in the game, this might be the best that you're ever performing. So what do you attribute that to? I mean, is it is it something physically, tactically, mentally? What, what do you attribute your, your success right now? I always had it in me. I was just, you know, not patient, always rushing, you know, always. It, it, it's fights, even the Whitaker fight. Let's go back to that. I was a favorite in that fight, you know, and I went out there and I'm like, you know, I felt like I had the mental edge and then I just went out there and just rush, 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 rush. And, you know, a, a lot of fights, you know, even let's go to Romero fight. I was winning the whole fight and he caught me with like a minute left. I would have won 30-27, you know, so it's like... I've had an Anderson Silva fight. I won that fight, you know, and they I got robbery of the year by, you know, three different MMA outlets, you know. It's just, I don't know. It, it's a lot of those moments, uh, some unluck, and just, you know, sometimes my fault also. So it, it's just all about putting together and fighting right at the right time. Yeah. So Kevin asked for this fight, and you were you were willing to take it. I know you guys had a little bit of a history together. Um, was that why you were willing to take it, or, or what was it that appealed to you? Um, it was just another guy that, you know, had a lot of hype. There was an opportunity for me to take out. I was offered a guy that was in the top ten, and I turned it down because I was looking for a top five, and I kept asking for a top five guy. And then the last thing is like, well, Holland's available. I'm like, oh. So I'm talking with my manager. I'm like, okay, well, if we don't take this fight, then who's left? And they're like, uh, we're looking around. Like, we asked for everybody, so nobody. So, you know, this was the fight to make, you know. So I get up for any fight. I'm excited for any fight, you know. Um, every fight is a different challenge, and, you know, I'm, I'm always for it. Nice. I'm curious if, like, mentally you had to approach this one a little bit different, right? Because you said it. You know, you've, you've, you've been a little too aggressive sometimes or a little too reckless sometimes. And, you know, I think about, like, without a sign, you, know, you guys kind of went at it and it got kind of personal. I think Kevin would probably like to make it personal with you. Like, yeah, yeah. Is it personal or have you had to make sure, like, I can't let this get personal? He tried. He tried so many times to make it personal. But I'm, like, I'm laughing because I'm, like, Okay, you can say as much as you want to, but at the end of the day, like the way that I fought, is he? I mean, even look at that fight. A lot of people are like you got you got destroyed, but really, I did it. Like the fight, I could have, I, I would have won the first round. It was 30 seconds left. My hands got caught up on his shorts. They broke us. I shot right back in, very predictable. And he needed me, and then he caught me with, you know, he was able to get the finish there. But it's not like I was getting picked apart the whole fight. But it's moments in the fight where I didn't make great decisions, you know. So, yeah, uh, Hollins would like to make it personal. He would like to follow the same thing Izzy did with the hype. And it's funny, he's using the exact same thing Izzy said. He's calling me bum son. It's like, bro, Izzy said the exact same thing. You're trying to do exactly what he did. So. I'm, I haven't been engaging with him in that fact because I'm going to fight the way that I've been fighting my previous couple fights, you know. I'm going to look to knock you out regardless, you know. So, like, I'm not going to be satisfied unless I trap your arms and I just dominate you and and 
TKO you. So, like, you know, that's how the fight is going to go. Um, no matter what's said or how it's said or how much trash you talk or I, I talk, you know, it, it's not going to it's not going to change the way that the fight. Last thing for me, it's crazy. I mean, those names you were just rattling off. I mean, you fought everybody. It's insane. Uh, there's a lot of big fights going on in this division right now, right? So, I mean, have you guys sat down and strategized? I mean, I know you don't want to look past this at all, but it feels like there's going to be some big opportunities real soon. So, a win here, what do you think you deserve? Um, my goal has always to get to get that title shot, you know, and I haven't. I've been right there, but I haven't. It's been twice, you know. If I would have won those fights, I would have got title shots, you know. But I, I haven't. I didn't do that. I didn't perform well. I was a little too aggressive. So, um, yeah, take care of this fight, and a big fight is right there, you know. I wouldn't even be opposed to a title shot, you know. Uh, I'm on. I'll be a four fight winning streak. A lot of other guys. Whitaker's on a huge streak, so obviously he deserves it most, but, you know, Costa don't deserve it, you know, and even guys like that. I asked to fight him, and he, I was trying to fight Costa, and his thing was he was injured until a certain date, but he was asking for other fights a certain date, you know? It's like, it's like what do you do, you know? So, like I said, I'm, I'm aiming for the stars, and I keep taking care of these guys that, you know, are next in line for title strikes, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, why not me? You mentioned that you're not letting Kevin Holland just get to you this time. You're not letting, you're not playing into it. But what do you think of his sort of whole persona, persona and shtick? What do you think of it all? Uh, I don't care. I mean, he he does what he needs to do. If that's what he he feel he needs to do to stay around, to stay relevant, to to march up, to, you know, I look at like a guy like Rumble Johnson. He didn't talk. He knocked people's teeth out, and he got to he got two title shots. Did he? He might have even got a title shot coming off of maybe he won a, a, a fight and then got another title shot. But you know, everybody have different ways of getting to the top. You know, so if he want to talk, that's fine. You know, but like I said, that's not gonna it's not gonna bother me. It's not gonna stop the way that I fight. Is there some sort of confidence going into this fight that if you win on Saturday? Like those top five guys who never seem to say yes to you can't say no anymore. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just it's no other alternative at this point, you know. Um, they'll have to give me the fight that I want, you know. That's going to catapult me to, you know, that title shot. Costa's out of his fight now. Is that you said you called him already? Could that be? A I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know. I want to fight Costa anymore. You know, I asked to fight him, and it was just all types of excuses that I couldn't fight. You know, and then all of a sudden, it's like he asking for fights on the same day. You know, so like I said, I'm looking to jump these guys. If they don't want to fight me, then you know you're asking for a title shot after you just lost a title shot. You know, pretty handily. It's like that only really makes sense. You know, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, first things first is is this Saturday, and then yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we're aiming for something bigger for sure. It's funny, right? Because if you come out and say like get a first round KO, and then Till and Vittori do a five round boring decision, and then Whitaker and Gaston do a five round boring decision, suddenly you're you're right there, right? Does that play in your mind? Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm on a huge streak. I fought every. It's like this. Fans can say, any media can say, you can say, oh, you lost this guy. But, like, everybody loses to everybody at the top unless you're the champion. And then if you lose your belt, then you lose to other people too. So everybody fight, fight the same type of guys. You know, it's just guys sometimes fight a, a, a smarter, strategic way to get to a title fight or to get the title. But, like, you know, everybody have to fight each other. Rematches have to go on. There's been guys who fought, like, uh, who was that? Junior Dos Santos, Velasquez. They fought the first time. I think JDS knocked him out. They rematched two uh, two years, three years later, and what happened? It was the uh, – he dom he got dominated for five rounds. Kane won, you know? So, like, you know, um, that, that can take place, you know? So – That's it. All right. Thank you, guys.